Welcome. Thank you for tuning in to our 2023-24 PIA Fellowship Information Web uh, Webinar. In this video, we'll be discussing a bit about Princeton and Asia, as well as information about the fellowships that we offer. We'll also go through a timeline for the 2023-24 fellowship applications, as well as uh, take a look at what we actually look for in our applicants. So just to begin, uh, my name is Kyle Lavelle. I'm an interim program director here at Princeton in Asia. I was also a fellow back in 2014, first at World Education in Laos, and then my second year at International Union for Conservation of Nature in Kathmandu, Nepal. I'll hand it over to Julian for his intro. Hi, everybody. My name is Julian. Um, I am a program director here at PIA. Uh, I generally manage our programs in Southeast Asia. And in 2016 was when I started my first uh, year of my fellowship. Um, I was teaching English to university students at Konkan University in Konkan, Thailand. And I was there for two years of my fellowship. Um, I will hand it over to Matt so he can introduce himself. Hey there, my name is Matt Hernandez. I use he, him pronouns. I'm also a program director at PIA. I work most closely with our fellowships in Central Asia as well as South Asia. I did my own PI fellowship in 2019 at the Tushita Foundation in Jaipur, India, where I was teaching English in addition to music and world cultures. Back to you, Kyle. Thanks, Matt. So just before I dive in, um, if you have any questions, please feel free to refer to the four applicants section of our website. There you'll find a lot of frequently asked questions. Um, you can also email us anytime at piaapps at princeton.edu. And if you'd like to schedule a session with one of our program directors, you can schedule an appointment during virtual office hours. Uh, the link for that's also found on the four applicants tab of our website. And we encourage you to join our mailing list while you're on that page as well. So first to begin a bit about our mission. PIA's mission is to foster mutual appreciation and cross-cultural understanding between the United States and Asia through immersive work fellowships in our host organizations and communities. We connect service-minded graduates and host organizations in Asia through meaningful work opportunities that transform perspectives and cultivate long-lasting friendships. Our fellowships are immersive one or two-year experiences that place an equal emphasis on living, learning, and working in a new culture and community. Now about our organization. Princeton in Asia was founded in 1898 and is an independent nonprofit affiliated with Princeton University and located on its campus. PIA awards competitive fellowships to recent college graduates from across the US and the world who are committed to our mission and values. In the class of 2022, there are 22 PIA fellows working at 18 host organizations in eight countries across Asia. These fellows graduated from 21 different universities with a wide range of degrees and backgrounds, from international affairs to music to even packaging engineering. And after their fellowship, they will join a community of over 3,400 PIA alumni who span the globe and are notably engaged in and supportive of PIA's ongoing work. Now to dig into our fellowships. PIA fellows are placed in a variety of organizations and institutions for one or two years. From kindergartens in Japan to universities in Mongolia and Kazakhstan, from an environmental NGO in Sri Lanka to a film festival in Laos. We've even sent fellows to a rock climbing company in Thailand and a family owned sake brewery in rural Japan. Our fellows work across a variety of issue areas, including arts and culture, economic development, education, environmental sustainability, peace, justice, and access to information, public health, sports, and STEM. We're proud to have decades long partnerships with a number of host organizations doing excellent work in their communities. Additionally, we are always working to develop new and exciting fellowships across all issue areas. The list of fellowships in a given year may change, but PIA's immersive work opportunities are always rooted in meaningful cross-cultural exchange. Now for the 2023-24 fellowship year, we will offer 40 positions in 10 different countries and regions, Japan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Laos, Mongolia, Singapore, South Korea, Sri Lanka, Thailand, and Vietnam. This list is subject to change due to local and regional circumstances. All PIA fellowships are designated as either one or two-year positions. 
one-year fellowships are a maximum of 12 months in length, with some slightly shorter based on the needs of the host organization. Fellows in one-year fellowships have the opportunity to apply to renew their posting for a second year at the same host organization or apply to transfer to a different post. A few notes on eligibility. While PIA does not restrict eligibility based on US citizenship or residency status, all applicants must present a compelling rationale for how they will contribute to PIA's mission of US-Asia exchange. Further, while PIA does not have an age limit, please note that we work with our host organizations to arrange posts that are entry level, which means that new and recent grads are encouraged to apply for any position that they feel prepared to fill. Now I'm going to hand it off to Matt and he'll tell you a little bit about what our fellows receive. Thanks, Kyle. So what are some of the benefits of being awarded a PI fellowship? Well, PI fellows receive a one or two year paid work opportunity, immersed at some of Asia's most vibrant organizations and communities. Our host organizations provide fellows with the opportunity to make a meaningful contribution to an important global issue. Each organization pays a local living stipend meant to cover general living expenses. They also offer logistical support in securing your visa. Certain organizations may offer additional benefits like language courses or airfare as part of the fellowship. For details about each post, please consult the fellowship's descriptions document. Fellows receive mentorship and support from program directors as well both before departure and while they're in Asia. Fellows in teaching positions must complete our 120 hour teaching English as a foreign language online certification course. All fellows attend an online orientation to prepare for their time abroad, as well as bond with the cohort. We invite experts to discuss a variety of topics, such as how to navigate new work dynamics influenced by the cultures of host communities, tools for building resilience as fellows encounter culture shock, and ways to improve your risk assessment and management while abroad. After meeting at orientation, many fellows stay in close contact with others in their cohort, whether they're based in the same city or on opposite ends of each continent. Fellows connect on a PIA created Slack, as well as fellow initiated projects like book clubs and affinity groups. Many find that this fellow to fellow connection provides vital support during their fellowship year. To provide our fellows with country-specific support and mentorship, PIA has one or more designated country advisors for each host country. Country advisors possess local knowledge and significant experience in their region, and fellows will be introduced to them at orientation. Our country advisors are dear friends of the program, and some are PI alumni themselves. And of course, one of the greatest benefits of doing PIA is joining this vibrant community of 3,400 alumni. Fellows who successfully complete their fellowship are invited to join the PIA alumni network and gain access to the alumni mentor directory. Now this is a list of alumni who have volunteered to talk to newer alumni about possible career paths after their fellowship. From a health and safety perspective, our fellows receive membership in International SOS, a best in class 24 seven emergency assistance provider. The support is strong for any issue that fellows may encounter while in Asia, including emergency evacuation in case of medical, political, or natural disasters. Fellows can request on-demand country-specific security briefings with ISOS at any point of their fellowship. Fellows also receive mental health support services, including assistance with finding providers locally or remotely and coverage for their treatment abroad. PI is committed to offering fellowship opportunities to as diverse and talented an applicant pool as possible. We reimburse all fellows for the cost of obtaining their visa and work permits, including in-person travel to their local consulate or embassy. PIA offers travel grants by application to ensure that finances are not a barrier to traveling to one's host country. Additionally, most PI fellows with student loans are eligible for some type of loan deferment. More information about PIA's travel grant application and student loan deferment process will be included in the fellowship acceptance materials. All fellows are encouraged to apply for these opportunities if interested. Unless otherwise noted, fellows are expected to cover the costs of pre-departure vaccination and round-trip airfare to their host country. 
As we just mentioned, however, PI does offer travel grants by application to ensure that finances don't prevent anyone from traveling to their fellowship location. Before we get into the specifics of the PI application, I'd like to give you an overview of PI's timeline. We can bring up the timeline into five main stages, application, interview, nomination, award, and pre-departure. All the following information will always be posted on our website and is also available on the application guide. So looking at the application stage, we're in that right now. The application is open and it will close at 3 p.m. Eastern on November 1st. That's the deadline for all materials, including your letter of recommendation. Not everyone will get an interview for a PI fellowship. In late December, we'll send all applicants an email letting them know if they've been offered an interview or not. Moving on to the interview stage, interviews with PI staff will take place virtually in January and early February. When we invite you to interview, we will share one to three positions that you are being considered for, as well as the fellow reports for each of those positions. The fellow reports are comprehensive reports that our fellows write about their workplace and community each year. We will ask you to rank the shortlist of positions according to your preferences. This ranking will help us determine which post is the best fit for you. Unfortunately, if you are not interested in the posts we include on your interview invitation, PIA is unable to consider you for alternate postings. In this case, you have the option of declining the interview and withdrawing from the PIA application process. During the interview, we encourage you to be yourself. Be honest about what you're comfortable or uncomfortable with, what excites you or what scares you, because all of this will help us make an informed and appropriate fellowship placement. Moving on to the nomination stage, after PIA staff complete their interviews in mid-February, we will nominate candidates to proceed to a final interview with host organizations. Each nominee can only interview for one position. Nominees must submit an updated resume and cover letter tailored to the host organization with whom they are interviewing. These materials will be due the last week of February and host organization interviews will take place virtually in early March. Host organizations make the final selection on all candidates and communicate their decision directly to PIA. Unfortunately, if a host organization does not move forward with your candidacy, PIA is unable to nominate you for an alternate position. And looking at the award stage, PIA will extend official fellowship offers on a rolling basis from mid to late March. PIA aims to finalize all positions by the end of March. After receiving an offer, nominees have four calendar days to accept or decline the position. To finalize acceptance, candidates must submit all required acceptance materials on PI's digital platform. Detailed instructions for this process are included with the fellowship offer. And looking at the pre-departure stage, PI holds our pre-departure training for new fellows in the spring. Fellows placed in teaching positions must complete a 120-hour teaching English as a foreign language certification course between April and mid-May. All fellows must attend orientation, held over two weekends on June 3rd and 4th and June 24th and 25th. Both trainings will take place in a fully virtual format. Fellows will also apply for the visa during the pre-departure stage with support from their host organization. All fellowship offers are contingent upon receipt of the proper visa. New fellows will leave for Asia in August, though specific departure dates do vary by position. During your fellowship, PI expects fellows to complete these things here. So first, we expect you to complete the entire duration of your fellowship contract, barring any serious and unforeseen difficulties. These are limited to family emergency, serious illness, political crisis, or natural disaster in the host country. Depending on the organization, fellowships may last an academic or a calendar year for one or for two years. In most cases, new fellows are inheriting this position from the previous year's fellow, and their behavior and performance will ensure that this opportunity is available for future participants. If you are considering graduate school for the year following a PI fellowship, it is extremely important to keep in mind PIA's one or two year commitment as you consider graduate school start dates. 
And since workplace responsibilities and living conditions change from year to year, having our fellows complete their fellow reports is critical to the success of our program. PI asks fellows to submit reports at the three and the nine month mark to keep abreast of the current state of each fellowship. Fellows also complete mandatory surveys at the beginning and end of their fellowship year to help PI improve our programs. So I'd like to hand it off to Julian so he can give you a little walkthrough of what the application looks like this year. Excellent, thank you, Matt. Okay, so now that you have a clear idea of PIA's timeline through August, 2023, let's focus on the part that we're in now, which is the application stage. Our goal throughout the application stage is to get to know you, our applicants, so that we can make the strongest possible matches between you and our host organizations and communities in Asia. We love to hear about the unique perspectives and experiences each of you would contribute to a PIA fellowship. So in your application, we encourage you to speak in as personal and specific terms as you're comfortable with. We find that applicants who share genuine personal motivations, in addition to their professional or academic aspirations, provide more compelling connections to our fellow values and our mission of US-Asia exchange. So you might be wondering, what does PIA's application and application process look like? Of course, a detailed description is available in the application guide, but at this point, I'm gonna take some time to walk you through the actual application form live. So give me one second, I'll pull this up. Okay, excellent. Um, so to access this online form, you can find the link at our website. Uh, this year, our application consists of two essays, three short answer responses, one 60 second video, one unofficial college or university transcript, and one one page resume. These materials must be submitted online as part of this application form that you're looking at here. Additionally, PIA requires one letter of recommendation submitted directly by your chosen recommender on a separate online portal, and that portal can be found at this link right here. All application materials, including your letter of recommendation, must be submitted online by 3 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday, November 1st. So before getting into the details of the application, I want to point out an incredibly important part of this page, and that's at the very, very bottom. There is a Save Progress button. Please, please, please click this button early and often, as I'm sure we all know what it feels like to lose hours and uh, hours of hard work and progress on an application like this. So please click that button often. Okay, so we're here at the top again. Um, we ask for contact information, for passport information, and background information. And then here, I'll, I'll pause here to talk a little bit about our language ability section. So this is the uh, first part of the application where I'll encourage you to visit the fellowships description document. Um, so you can find that document at the top of this application. Every post with language requirements has those requirements listed in the description. Um, and I'll tell you that we ask for your proficiency level uh, in language to be able to make the best matches between applicants and host organizations. But please note that many of our positions do not actually require language proficiency in any Asian language. So if I go back down here, past the language section, um, to the skills and experience section. We'll ask you to describe your proficiency level in a variety of skills that host organizations have requested for the, for the various fellowship roles. Now, don't let these tables intimidate you. We are gonna be evaluating this information while also referencing your resume. So don't worry if filling out the table doesn't allow you to tell the entire story of your experience. Please go forward and complete the tables to the best of your abilities. For each skill, please rank your proficiency level on a scale of zero to three, with zero being no experience at all, and three indicating an ability to execute this skill independently. Please uh, fill out every row of each of these tables, and if any of these skills or areas doesn't apply to you, go ahead and click the zero for that, uh, for that row. 
As we said before, we know our applicants come with a wide range of unique skills and talents. So please feel free to elaborate on your skills in this box here. In the next section, you'll have the opportunity to list your fellowship preferences. As mentioned before, some posts are designated as two-year fellowships, while others are single-year fellowships. You can find that information both in the fellowships descriptions, fellowship descriptions document here, or if you go for these uh, drop-down menus, um, then the two-year posts are designated here. Uh, two-year fellowships are a maximum of 24 months in length. Some two-year posts offer special benefits, such as intensive language study opportunities. Please view the fellowship descriptions document for more information on each post. So while completing this application, you're going to have the opportunity to indicate preferences for confirmed posts, for posts pending confirmation, and posts in development. There are a few key differences between these three categories. So first, confirmed posts will be offered as fellowships in the 2023-24 fellowship year, subject to any unforeseen difficulties or circumstances. In the app, um, you're welcome to rank your top one to three confirmed posts. Posts pending confirmation are likely to be offered as fellowships in the 2023-24 fellowship year, and confirmation is pending. In the application, please indicate interest in zero to three posts pending confirmation. And posts in development may or may not be offered as fellowships in the 2023-24 fellowship year. In this app, please indicate interest in any of the posts in development that are interesting to you. Because the positions and details of these postings are still in development, the names of the organizations are not listed in the application, but short descriptions of these posts can be found in the fellowship descriptions document. These posts will be confirmed before the interview stage. Moving down a little bit into the written portion of the application, we'll ask you to respond to two essay prompts and three short answer prompts. So here's essay one, essay two, and then three short answer sections. So please take the time uh, to reflect on all parts of each prompt and feel free to weave any personal anecdotes or insights into your responses. This is your opportunity to tell us as much or as little about yourself as you'd like us to know. So please utilize this word count wisely. Here's a few tips for the essays and short answers. First, make sure they're personal and specific to you and not just a laundry list of statistics about Asia or a summary of your resume. If you have clear professional or academic goals, then absolutely please incorporate that into your essay responses. However, we do encourage you to speak to a more personal element as well, uh, since being a PIA fellow is a 24 seven commitment and not just a nine to five job. Moving down to the video. So for the 60 second video, we have two tips. First, be creative. The prompt is intentionally open-ended and there's no wrong way to submit a video. Second, please make sure the video features you talking at some point. Sometimes we get a slideshow of photos set to music. And while that does make us jealous of your epic summer adventure, it doesn't really help us to get to know you better. So we would appreciate it if you directly addressed the prompt. You can upload the video to YouTube, Google Drive, or any other file sharing site, but the key thing here is you need to make sure the link is set to anyone can edit before sharing so that we can actually view your video. The final required materials to upload on the application form are your resume, tailored to PIA, and your unofficial college transcript. The letter of recommendation must be submitted directly by your recommender at this link here. And this is the same link that you saw at the top of the page. Your recommender can be anyone who has supervised you in an academic or professional setting, whether or not it's related to Asia or international exchange. We suggest you choose somebody who can speak to your ability to uphold PIA's mission and values. Please send the link to your recommender well in advance of the November 1st deadline. So with that, we've made it to the bottom of the application. And I'll go back to this slideshow. Okay, great. 
So I'm gonna talk a little bit about what we're looking for in our applicants now. So given the breadth of organizations, communities, and cultures that PIA fellows immerse themselves in, it's impossible to truly define an ideal applicant. Our fellows come from a wide range of majors and backgrounds, from the engineer who never studied abroad to the fine arts major looking to leave their comfort zone. One thing that all fellows have in common, though, is that they understand and are committed to upholding PIA's six fellow values. Those values are transformation, immersion, relationship building, humility, mutuality, and interdependence, and contributing to the community. The values are practical ways that fellows can fulfill PIA's mission in their host communities. So they're the main qualities that we look for throughout our application process. We like when fellows are willing to put the needs of others before their own and really do their best to understand the community that surrounds them. We want our fellows to want to leave their comfort zone and to be resourceful and resilient while navigating the unexpected challenges of their post. We're looking for fellows who will maximize the transformative potential, both, both personal and professional, of a year or two on PIA. So successful applicants are those who seek a transformative experience, want to contribute to their host organization, facilitate cultural exchange through relationship building, and demonstrate personal and professional readiness to function effectively in a foreign living and work environment. So knowing that you're probably weighing a bunch of different options for your future plans, we want to offer you our perspective of what makes PIA so special and what we hope you will gain from our program. We like to say that PIA offers a change in perspective, a job that matters, and a community for life. PIA fellowships offer the opportunity for personal growth, meaningful work, and strong connections to Asia and people in their host communities. So what do we mean by that? First, a change in perspective. PIA offers countless opportunities for personal growth and understanding. By doing PIA, fellows increase their empathy, open-mindedness, humility, flexibility, and resilience. 97% of PIA alums reported that their PIA fellowship helped build their interpersonal or soft skills. They also learn to see their host communities and cultures through new eyes and correct any misconceptions they might have held about their host countries before PIA. Next, a job that matters. The work that PIA fellows do matters to their organizations, their communities, and their host countries. Fellows are stewarding relationships that have been in, in existence for decades. The cumulative impact of our fellowships over 124 years is enormous, and our placements are crafted to be transformative for the fellow and the host organization. In addition to the incredible work that our fellows do in their jobs, many of them also pursue meaningful projects outside of their workplace. 55% of our alumni reported that they initiated a project or, out, uh, or activity outside of work. And a community for life. PIA offers the opportunity to forge strong connections to Asia, including by learning the language and culture of your host community. 92% of PIA alums speak at least one foreign language. Over 50% speak at least two. Most of our fellows uh, build relationships during their time in Asia that last well beyond the end of their fellowship year. Our alumni are still in contact with friends from their host communities, and two out of three PIA alums have returned to their host country at least once after their fellowship. So, a change in perspective, a job that matters, and a community for life. The impact of a PIA fellowship is long lasting in terms of career, relationships, personal growth, and perspective. And we hope that you will apply to be a part of our program. Thanks for watching and be sure to submit your information uh, by November 1st. Email us at piaapps at princeton.edu or come to office hours if you have any questions. Thanks everybody.